Hello and welcome to another Rahulcast where I talk about all the media that I've seen since the, la since the last Rahulcast that probably won't get their own video, but I still want to talk about them. Nonetheless, let's get right into it and talk about some anime. Some anime. So I watched a little bit more Black Lagoon. Honestly, um, pretty pretty sort of standard fair action. It's good. Conflict, the, the sort of conflict between the characters is interesting and fun to watch. But you know what? Truthfully, um, I'm moving through it pretty slow. It's not compelling enough for me. I, 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 I wish I could, I wish I could really, like, attach myself to it. Like I will, like I have another show, show that I'm going to talk about later. But eh, it's good. It's good. I think you know, like, if I had to like rate it right now, it would probably be like a seven. But I just, I just, I just. A lot of shows m make me want to keep watching. I don't know if this one quite got there yet. But whatever, right? Um, nonetheless, um, I, I don't think I made a ton of progress since I last uploaded uh, stuff. Uh, since, since I last uploaded. Because I haven't really been doing a lot of running in the gym, and that's kind of when I watch Black Lagoon. So, mm, whatever. I also saw Hell's Paradise, the first uh, two, two and a half episodes. Hell's Paradise, I think, falls into the sort of same... The, it's sort of like... The, it's sort of one of those animes that um, I watch a few episodes of, and I've already kind of seen it before, right? It's, it's a shonen show. It's good, you know? It's interesting. The concepts are kind of fun. If you think about it, it's kind of interesting the, the the protagonist is like you know like wildly talented but also kind of moody um and yeah i, I don't know you know i i i guess uh i'm just not super I, i'm super torn if i want to keep going with hell's paradise there's nothing necessarily wrong with the show um, it looks like it's gonna get kind of, like, messed up and crazy at some point. But, as far as I've reached in the show, which is about two and a half episodes in, the guys are, the, the, the folks are, are, are just kind of, like, you know, showing off their, like, big strong muscles, you know, like, I'm stronger than you, type thing. They're being, they're, like, in this island just trying to find, I think, like, the elixir for, like, living forever. Edgy teen anime. Nothing. Nothing really interesting there. But I, I'm still gonna probably give it give it its third episode, and maybe watch a little bit further just to make sure that I want to drop it if I do want to drop. It. It's not a bad show, just not much of anything, truthfully. But let's get into the big show. The show that I really want to talk about, and it is Oshinoko. So since I last uploaded, Oshinoko episode 2, 3, and 4 have come out, and I have watched all of them. Not just now, I only watched episode 4 just now, because episode 4 just came out as 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 per recording this. Um, You know, it's not bad. It's a good show. You know, it... it it's it's novel it's about show business it's it's um it still has like the kind of standard like high schooly tropes whatever um but i i wish it was as good as the first episode. the first episode did so much for me and we just didn't get just didn't get like the same weight in the other episode and i think that's to be expected a little bit because the first episode was 90 minutes two three and four are i think are collectively around 90 minutes uh you know so far like they were trying out for this high school um aqua was going for like general studies 
Um, Ruby is going for like uh, like the performance art thing. Ruby decided to like Ruby and Strawberry Productions is forming another idol group. The the first idol group they formed since since I passed away. And sort of Aqua is trying to figure out who his dad is and is also breaking sort of back into becoming an actor. Um, so the most recent episode I watched was episode four. And, and it, it was, you know, it, it felt kind of standard high school tropes. At, 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 at least like the latter half of it really kind of felt that way. Um, Aqua is sort of told that, that well, Aqua sort of shows that he's a great actor. His like kind of love interest, I already forgot her name, the like red haired girl, she's she's like kind of into him. I think there's another girl that, that, that that's probably going to be into him as well, like the like the superstar uh girl. Who's part of Ruby's class, which is like again pretty pretty standard fare for anime. You just got to learn to look past that stuff because it's so overdone, but not bad, just overdone, right? And Aqua uh, gets like a little bit further in finding out who his dad is. Aqua, um, one of the directors, one of the producers on the show that uh, 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 Aqua. Um, plays like a character in like he he plays a character for like the like last ep- for like the finale of the show he plays a character um for the show and and the producer like like knew his mother and could possibly be his father but the producer is not his father because aqua somehow got a dna sample and was able to check it but he knew but he has some idea of who Aqua's father could possibly be. But in exchange, and this is kind of where we leave off episode four, in exchange for the producer giving Aqua information, no, the producer doesn't know that Aqua is I's child, but the producer does, uh, like, like, He's willing to give Aqua the information that he has, but Aqua has to participate in a dating show, which is crazy, and that's a lot of fun. I can't wait to see, like, what happens with that. That's going to be so interesting. Um, I really, I really know that, like, dating shows were, like, a thing in Japan. I didn't even know they were really a thing in America, so... Or, or like, I, I, I think I knew, like... At, at some point, there was a, something like that, and I think like now on like Netflix, like Love Is Blind, uh, Love Island is not really a dating show, and that's in the same sense. But whatever, right? Like th- those those exist, but I I didn't know that 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 there was like a a thing like that in Japan. So that'd be fun to sort of see Aqua kind of go through. Um, yeah, I I. Think, I think that we're we're getting set up for a really interesting next few episodes. Um, there's only like six more episodes. Six, yeah, six more episodes in the rest of the in the rest of the um, series. So, how many anime arcs are we going to get? I do like how the pace is. Is so far with uh, Oshinoko. I have not read the manga. I don't really plan on reading the manga, but nothing felt feels feels too rushed right now. So no complaints here. No complaints here at all. Um, but yeah, like it's it's sort of dipping back into like the anime tropes because not because they're they're starting high school and like high school is like a whole every single anime character is in high school. It's it, it's too much, but it, it it it's fine, right? I I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to I'm, I'm accepting to watch it. What does kind of worry me a little bit is like, some of like the students that like, like some of these 
students in like Ruby's class because because Ruby is in the performing arts class. Ruby students are like in up models. Now, I don't know what that means in like sort of a Japanese context, but I assume the translators did a great job because of course they did. These characters are like 15. And they're pinup models? That's I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's like not that's not okay. Um But I mean, you know, I when you watch anime, that's just something you you kinda have to just grit your teeth and accept it, you know, and just not Think too hard about it. Are children exploited in Japan more? Oh god. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna dig into it uh, too much because I'm scared. I'm very scared to go any further into this. But you know, uh, very excited and looking forward to the next few episodes of Oshinoko. Still a good show. So far, I'd put it at like an eight or nine. So far, the only thing that would honestly knock it for 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 me is um just nothing super exciting is happening. That's basically it. You know, episode one was such a such a whirlwind. Now we have this, and it's it's, it's not bad. It's just it's just not episode one. Um, and I guess that's just my high expectations, right? Um, nevertheless, let's move on to the movie section. Chevalier came out a few weeks ago. Um, I think generally, uh, Chevalier was fine. Uh, it shed some really interesting light on a black classical composer whose work was largely destroyed and ignored for much time after his death. And it's nice to, you know, have his story be told. The movie was a little too overt, I think, in, in a lot of its um, messaging. A lot of the, like, I, I like it when a movie, like, talks about topics in feminism and stuff, because I think that's important. But I don't like it when it's just somebody standing up there and just reciting, like, the problems, if, if that makes sense. It's it's just it's very much tell not show is what they're doing. When 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 one of the characters gives like a long monologue about how you know yeah it's uh, uh it, my life is awful like yeah yeah it is and 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 that and that is a, a deep flaw within so society in sort of that time in France, and also has uh, sort of parallels to today. But, like, could you maybe do a better job of showing that to me instead of just having a character on a pedestal talking about it? I talk about race issues and stuff, kind of. Right? When they... Um, how they handled race issues, though, was, I think, a lot better. Because they, they showed things happening to, sh to the, to the, um, to the Chevalier, right? Like, him being actively discriminated against. Him living in a society that actively does not think of him up to their level, but also, like, contradict, but, but also, to the contrary, like, he is part of the broader... Um, classical, like, like, like the broader, like, nobility, right? Like, he is part of that. So, so, like, so, that's an interesting sort of thing that they show and that they talk about. They tried to show the scene where he like reconnected with his culture, kind of. It was a little. Conf it was nice to watch, but it was also a little confusing. Um, not a bad movie. Pretty, pretty bog standard. Nothing egregious about it. Just not nothing super great. But I am glad I learned about 
a classical composer who I probably would not have known about beforehand. Good to know. You know, always happy to learn. Next movie I saw was The Covenant. The Covenant was, um, I think, a pretty good movie. Um, the, the trailer kind of explains it all. A uh, guy in the army is in Afghanistan as a Afghani translator that they get caught up in a fight with the Taliban. The, tal the, um, the military guy gets, like, essentially knocked out and needs to be dragged back to his base. The translator drags him back to his base while um, e e e evading the Taliban. Uh, and then after the military guy is safe, the translator goes into hiding with his family despite being promised a visa by the American government for being a translator for the military. But he cannot go and claim his visa because he is in hiding. And military guy realizing this and going back to Afghanistan to get the translator back, to sort of bring him back home. There's a lot of gunfighting, a lot of intense action moments. They, they are very good at, like, building tension and, and, and showing, like, the seriousness and, like, the weight of the stakes in, 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 in this fight. And I think that's, I think that's super important. I think that's great. Um, I had a lot of fun watching it. I didn't think it was, like, anything special. Um, it, but it also, you know, I learned something there, too. I learned that there are many Afghani translators who served the U.S. in the war who are entitled visas, who are unable to claim those visas because the Taliban took them over. The, the point of watching this movie, despite it being described by the trailer, is to kind of see in what direction are they going to go. And they took a pretty politically neutral standpoint, I think, when it came to, like, painting... When it came to talking about... Because you could have made this sort of about American troops leaving Afghanistan and it being a good or bad thing. And you know, sort of like going like the angle of like Biden is bad because of this or whatever, right? And, and I'm glad that they really just focused on the issue. And I'm glad that they, not that making a movie political is necessarily bad. I just think that if your opinion is something like um, we should have never left Afghanistan, whatever, I think it, that's an uninformed opinion. Um, but, you know, they, they sort of just, Focus on the issues, kind of just pretty, pretty straight line. No complaints, you know. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> uh, worth watching if you like military movies. I'm, I'm kind of, whatever on it. Next one is uh, George Foreman. The, f the. I forget the exact title of the movie, but. <clears throat> I should look it up real quick. This is not supposed to be uh, a very formal video. Not that any of my videos are super formal. I'm, 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 I'm here, man. <laughs> it's not that deep. Yeah, so Big George Foreman, the, the, the miraculous story of the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. A show about... This show. A movie about George Foreman, boxer... Uh, grew up in a religious household, slowly falls out of his religion while also becoming the heavyweight champion of the world, losing that that champion to Ali, and then what? And then at the age of like forty two, getting it back while also becoming more religious again. This is a religious movie. This is a movie that is very explicitly and unapologetically Christian. Usually, Christian movies do a... Usually, I think Christian movies hit this... hit the whole Jesus thing way too hard to the point where anybody who isn't Christian is, like, is, like, synonymous with just the devil, and people who are Christian are these... Are these, um, for lack of a better thing to say, angelic 
like just pure being, right? And this one showed uh, just wasn't so overt with that, which was kind of nice. It it felt like you could have taken some of the Jesus out of it, and it would have still been an okay movie. Um, that being said, you know, like they do, like they do, kind of subtly, not then 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 not so subtly, credit Foreman for sorry sorry like credit God as why Foreman became a uh, heavyweight champion. Um, it, 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 like the story was 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 pretty crazy, you know. Uh, George Foreman became the the second heavyweight champion. Um, became the second heavyweight champion like twice, um, and uh, be, you know like be, becoming uh, a heavyweight champion at the age of like at at, at, at at the age of like forty, forty two, forty whatever. It's not a small feat, you know. Like at that age, like you're like. Like your physical condition is not as good as it was when 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 you were twenty, or when you were like thirty even. So it's, I mean, it's I you know I'm not a I'm not a Christian guy. I've, you know I've I've never really been, but uh, certainly miraculous. They found a good way to sort of insert religion in this movie. I think. Compared to say other ones where it feels a lot more ham fisted, so this is like truly a mirror. That being said, it, 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 it was an okay movie. This is the first movie where I think I actually disagreed with the Rotten Tomatoes critics. Rotten Tomatoes critics like absolutely panned this thing; they hated it, right? I didn't love it, but I didn't think it was bad. Usually, when 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 Rotten Tomatoes says that something is bad, I'll watch it and like it's bad. <laughs> It's, like I will not like it, but like I, I, I didn't, I didn't feel that like, that like, that like the fist fist balling urge to be like I hated this movie, right? Uh, it was a good movie to to watch. <laughs> Next movie up, Polite Society, a movie made in the UK about Pakistani, uh, society. Uh, specifically, the marriage of a Pakistani woman and her sisters' uh, attempts to foil that marriage for a thousand and one reasons. Mostly because eventually it's revealed that the man that. that. Yeah, I'll just. Okay, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We're looking this one up too because I want to get this right. Cause this is cause it gets weird. All right. So we got. So we got a couple characters, right? So we got Rhea Khan and we got Lena Khan, sisters. Rhea is a younger sister. She wants to be a stunt woman when she grows up. Lena Khan went to art school and then dropped out, and is now just kind of figuring out what to do with her life. Lena Khan um, essentially meets like like um, how do I put this? It, it, Lena, through dating and sort of being with a family friend, son, kind of an arranged marriage situation, but not really, gets engaged. To Selim, Lena's, uh, and and Lena and Selim are going to get married. Rhea doesn't like this because she's like afraid she's going to lose her sister, and and you know, Lena says that she's going to move to Singapore after she gets married, which is crazy, but okay. Um, and yeah. And 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 Rhea, and Rhea tries to stop it, and in that she sort of uncovers this really weird like laboratory where where Salim's mom is like trying to 
is trying to find a suitable wife for her son, Lena, in this case, so that Lena could carry children if effectively, and more specifically, could carry essentially a clone of the mother. So the mother can live a, a more free life because she was very repressed in her um, life. I I really like this movie. Yeah, you know, like I I I thought I thought it was such an interesting and crazy concept. I think so so I'm I'm Indian. I am not a Pakistani. But like it's culturally there are differences. I don't know all the differences, but, like, the vibes are very similar. So a lot of these, like, you know, a lot of, like, these sort of cultural things I kind of, kind of got here and there. Um, I, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't know that, like, like, do, like, Pakistani mothers have, like, social circles and stuff? I never knew that was, like, a thing. Yeah, they didn't think that was really a thing. Hey. My parents didn't quite have that type of thing with somebody in my town. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was more just there for plot convenience. I don't know. Um, it's a commentary, I think, on like the like. I think it's like I think part of it's like a a. a I think part of it is about. I think part of it is about like how um, I, 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 I hesitate to say codependent, but like codependent, the sort of South Asian mother and son relationship tend to be mother and eldest son, mother and only son relationship kind of tend to be. Um, yeah, and how like there's like there are a lot of these expectations in South Asian families to sort of follow a certain path of life and how yeah and just and just how important uh that is in South Asian culture and how sometimes repressive it is um Salim's mother's whole whole evil plot was kind of interesting because it also speaks to how, you know, like the older generations did have it in a sense worse, had families that were a lot more restrictive and a lot more like repressing to them. It's all just really bad how 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 marriage is 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 so important in the South Asian society. Oh, uh, I a a a a a really interesting uh sort of a a a a a really interesting sort of thing that I found is in like the final fight, right? When the whole plot is revealed and how and and they chase after Rhea and Lena who are trying to get away, the guests at the wedding who presumably are not privy to this plot also try to help out like the villain that's really interesting that's like a that's like a whole ass like like south asian society is still very like like doesn't really doesn't do what's right but instead does what's sort of expected in their society i i, I just th 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 thought that was really fascinating um just a really good I don't know, man. I just like I feel like I related to it a lot. It was, it was just absurd enough for it to be interesting, entertaining, but not super absurd to the point where it was like where you sort of lost the potency of the message. Pretty short movie too, but uh, short movie, not a bad movie. Usually, I don't like short movies. This was good. I don't know what else to say. Next movie up, Are You There, God? It is Me, Margaret. I'll keep this one short. I also really like this movie. It was about 
um, puberty. It was about growing up. Now I, now again, our, our, our main character and sort of like the main cast in the uh, title characters, like friend group, Margaret, they're all preteen girls. Uh, I have not lived that experience. But I think a lot of the themes of like growing up and sort of having like feelings for uh, sort of like de developing romantic feelings for the, the sort of gender you're attracted to, the sort of discovering that I find women attractive, like actually discovering that um, through like finding peers of mine attractive. Um, sort of like that like process. It was very like reminiscent of that is very cringe worthy for that same reason um margaret's sort of um fighting with this whole like am i jewish am i christian and a very interesting was both a little naive in the sense that um it can really be anything there's there there is more than just jewish folk and christian folk but i mean but but like he's that's a comp like the question that she was contending with was complicated enough, right? But like yeah, yeah like uh, like like and it's sort of how like it it wasn't really about like the religion that she wants to follow, but instead how either side of her grandparents want her to be a certain way. That's really interesting, and how her parents are a little more wiser in that they they. They don't. They don't think it's important. They don't think it's like something that she needs to figure out right now. But of course, like the like like the parents take sort of a backseat to all this because it's Margaret trying to figure it all out, right? With with like religion, with her growing up, with her looking at say like female role models and sort of wondering like, will I look like them? How will I be? You know. Um. Again, I can't relate to all all the gender stuff. I I didn't grow up as a woman i didn't grow up that's should be fairly obvious though i don't list my pronouns anywhere so the point is is i i i related to the whole growing up theme i i i i, I related to like what it was like being a kid and just trying to figure out all of because it's hard it's complicated right like adults like like, before you were born, adults go through so much shit before you are born. And then you are born, and then you kind of have to deal with their shit. And then in dealing with their shit, you get your own shit, and then suddenly, you're also grown up. And, well, shit. Like, now you have to deal with... Now, if you decide to have children, you gotta somehow curtail your... Your... Your bullshit, and make sure that they don't turn out. Shit! Ah, uh, that was mixed in terms of how clever it was but it, it's it's still true still true still true yeah I, I, it's um it was fun <laughs> it was a fun movie it it felt uh some of the scenes were were like uh, a little cringy but it was but it had like a sort of innocence to it that i think anybody who grew up in the u.s and had to sort of go through all of that can can kind of find something to relate to it. Next up, and the last movie in our sort of thing, because I I, I already made a Guardians of the Galaxy video, is Sisu. Sisu is, I think, best described as a reverse horror movie. Where the victims are kind of the Nazis, but like they're Nazis, so who really cares, right? It's about a a guy who discovers a bunch of gold. And is trying to make it to the bank to deposit all the gold so that he can have a lot of money. And in uh, riding a horse slash eventually walking to the bank, they encounter the Nazis who are currently fighting a losing war just in all of Europe. And the Nazis see that he has a lot of gold and try to kill him. Um, very gory. The Nazis do some pretty messed up stuff to him. But our main character, I forget his name. Uh, just messes up a lot of Nazis, which was kind of nice, you know, very cathartic. It, it, I, I, I call it a reverse horror movie because, because the Nazis sort of, because like, because we, because we follow the actions of the monster, not really, 
right? Of our our, 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 our our hero is the monster in this reverse horror story. And after the Nazis end up managing to take his gold, he like comes after them like with with fervor. A lot of gore, a lot of blood. They some of the shots, some of the shots that they did, they did just because they could, just because they wanted it to be disgusting and bloody and 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 they're really good at like building tension for this too. Like they 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 were like like there were points in this movie where like. I, I, they, they did everything that they could to convince you that our main character was dead and gone, but like a but like a God knows what he he rises back up and 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 just kills people off one by one by one. Very just just a just a nice little action movie if you really like something like that. And last but not least, uh, as I'm gonna try to do every every time I record one of these life updates let's talk a little bit about how things have been going truthfully things have been going pretty badly uh without getting into too many details just you know uh i've 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 screwed up some things other people have kind of screwed screwed me in certain ways um life is not going too great just to be honest if if, if you made it if you made it this far in the video then first of all thank you but like uh, yeah, I guess you get to learn a little bit about my personal life, just that, without getting into too much detail, because again, this is the internet. I I think they've not been going through great, too too great. Some of the not too great is certainly my fault. Some of the not too great is is the universe being shitty or uh, other people being shitty. I've been struggling. With. The only real good thing that's kind of happened since uh since, since the last Rahul cast was reaching 50 subscribers on YouTube. You know, I, I, um, it's not the most subscribers I've ever had. Uh, Rahul Sings actually has 169 right now. Nice. And, uh, it's, 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 it's probably gonna end up going down just because I don't upload really there much anymore. But, uh, 50 on a channel where I'm just talking about whatever is, is, is pretty impressive to me. Because, you know, I never really thought that I would, that people would really care to listen to the things I have to say. And it's nice that somebody does. But other than that, you know, I've been struggling. Just generally. And there's really nothing I can do about it. But... When you make mistakes, you have to confront them. And I'm going to try to confront them. And when you make when you make mistakes, you have to try to confront them. And when other people sort of sort of do bad things to you, or when just life gets shitty and stressful for you, you have to deal with it the best you can. I'm not, and I'm not saying I've been dealing with it necessarily very well. My diet's not been very good. I haven't been working out as much as I intended to. Hopefully that'll change next week, but that is what's happening. Um, yeah, it's hard. I, I don't expect anybody to get to this part of the video, but I wanted to say it. I I've I've, I've 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 talked to friends and stuff about it, but like I wanted to kind of say it here. I I don't know why, but I guess here we go. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for. Again, I don't think anybody made it to the end of it, but I I I really do appreciate that people want to listen to me talk, as as I just said, and and, and if you watch through this. Marathon of short form movie and anime reviews. I, 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 I'm, I'm, that's that's crazy. I don't, I don't know why anybody would listen to me talk like this for this long about anything. You know, um, thank you. And and 
even if you didn't make it to the end of this video, and, and you've even seen just a full video of mine, period, thank you. I, 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 I appreciate it. It's um, you probably not see this, but but it's nice to know that people want it. This sounds like I have some like deep dark past or whatever. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But it's just nice. It's just a nice feeling. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.